Tony, a former boxing champion recently received an apology after his frustration over a parking problem went public this week. As we reported, Gary Belletto, who's paralyzed, posted pictures on social media. They show an SUV parked in a restricted area next to a handicapped spot at Providence Place. It made it impossible for him to get into the car with his wheelchair. Tonight, we're learning what the driver responsible had to say. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh tracks the developments live in Providence. Kate? Well, guys, Gary Tiger Boletto said, unfortunately, this wasn't the first time he's been blocked from trying to get into his van, and it won't be the last time he posts on social media about it if it happens again. But he said he hopes this experience serves as a teaching lesson for viewers. Lesson learned. I forgive him. I have forgiven him. Former pro boxer Gary Tiger Boletto has accepted an apology from the man who took the blame for this, parking in striped lines next to a handicapped spot at the Providence Place Mall. Some um, facilities don't have the right parking and some do, and the mall has the exact setup for a ramp. And unfortunately, you know, it's so overcrowded, people think that's a perfect size for my car to fit. I'm just going to park there. They don't realize those striped lines are actually to allow space for a handicapped van ramp to extend six feet. After about an hour of waiting for the driver to come out and move, Gary posted about it on social media. That post went viral. Gary and his girlfriend said they received comments on the post saying she should have just jumped into this van and moved it so they wouldn't have to put the ramp down. But they let us in the van to show you there is no seat here. Gary's wheelchair comes in here so he can drive. And if you're not familiar with these controls, you really wouldn't know what to do. Gary's hopeful, despite the inconvenience for him and his family, this incident helps educate others. I think people uh, are going to be afraid to park in, in handicapped spaces because they're going to get shamed because I'm going to do this again if somebody parks where they're not supposed to. And we reached out to the driver who apologized but haven't heard back from him yet. New at 6 o'clock tonight. Find out why Gary says the power of social media can be more powerful than the law in situations like this. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Local boxing champ Gary Boletto says he's received an apology from the driver who parked next to a handicapped spot at the Providence Place Mall. Boletto shared these photos on social media over the weekend. It drew a lot of attention. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh talked to Boletto today and joins us live from Providence. Kate. Well, you've probably seen those diagonal stripes going through parking spots, and maybe you don't know what they are. Now, Gary Tiger Boletto hopes through this whole experience, he's helping to educate people to think before they park. Former boxing champ Gary Tiger Boletto is now using his words to fight injustice. His arena, social media. The law is not going to do anything. This is what is going to raise awareness to make people not want to do this. Gary posted on Facebook his frustration over someone parking this Jeep in the diagonal lines. Space, he said, people don't realize is actually there to allow for handicapped van ramps to extend at least six feet. He and his girlfriend had to wait in the law an hour for the driver to leave. The post went viral and just days later that Jeep driver called him. He did give a sincere apology. I couldn't have been more apologetic and um, he said he wants to turn this negative thing into a positive thing. A teaching moment. I think people are more lazy than anything else, you know, when it comes to getting a close spot. Boletto said some parking lots don't even have this extra space alongside handicapped spots, so he instead has to park far away, hopeful no one parks next to him. I've seen people wait for a spot instead of just parking further and getting the exercise. There's nothing wrong with walking a little further. Now, this isn't the first time Boletto said his van has been blocked from him getting access to it. And he said if it happens again in the future, he won't hesitate to post about it on social media. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.